Hello everyone. So I've got a couple of friends of mine who want to learn Blender as well and they don't want to sit through a two hour video that I made so I've decided to make a new Blender tutorial and I'm going to create a playlist of five minutes, ten minutes for each and every tool or the most used tools in Blender and then you can just uh, watch those I'm at the Blender website, blender.org, and if you're a maker or you have a 3D printer, you're bound to do some 3D editing at some point. And Blender is the excellent tool for that. It's, it's beautiful, in my opinion. So we're at Blender 2.9 right now, and uh, at blender.org. You can just download it here. I'm just going to select Windows, and uh, there we go. We can download it, install it. I already have it installed, of course. Well, I just installed it. And uh, you can select the language. You can and uh, well, I'm going to use Spacebar uh, as a search tool next. And uh, that's that. I can just uh, click in the screen here. And we start out with a cube. So let's familiarize ourselves with this, uh, all this. Well, not all this, because most of the things you don't need, actually. It's actually the 20-80 rule. 80% 80 of what you do is done with 20% of the tools. So with regards to modeling, you don't need that many tools. Don't get excited because of all these options you have here. Uh, first off, in this introductory video, I would like to uh, change some settings first. Well, middle click and drag rotates the view. It's pretty simple. You could also do it here. Uh, select any of these dots here. Lift click and drag to rotate the view. But I'll just use your middle mouse. That's much faster. And then uh, um, scrolling zooms. But you can also just uh, click this button here. And that zooms as well. But why would I need a button if I can just scroll? Right. right so, And then moving the view. I press shift and middle click and drag as you can see and you can also use this one well next would be the perspective it's uh, it's got perspective right now as you see it, it has some depth in it but then you can't always exactly see if points are aligned properly so you could just switch to orthographic view with this one here and then you can select a front view. Just click here, for instance. You're looking from the left, the X. Now you're looking from the front, the Y. But you can also use the keypad, the numpad. Like, uh, let me open a file here for a moment. Open, let's see, this one. And now I can clearly see you have a front view. Let's keep at one. A right view keep at three, and the top view keep at seven. But yeah, I don't want to move to the keyboard with my right hand, so I'm going to change some settings here. So let's move over to Edit Preferences. And each time I'm walking through these menus, I don't like it. I right-click Preferences, and you get this menu. Assign a shortcut, and I press Ctrl Alt combination with U. Here you go, Ctrl Alt U. That used to be in the old Blender, you could just press Ctrl Alt U, which is user preferences. You don't need to, but it's, a, it's an interesting option. So I'm just going to click this one, and I'm going to change some settings here. First of all, the splash screen, well, yeah, you could open a splash screen, but you could remove it if you'd like. Um, then we're moving over to navigation. I'm using the trackball as an orbit method and auto perspective I turn that off that's just really annoying when it keeps switching between perspectives and uh, that's basically it now we move to the key map and here you have these options you had in the beginning when you started up I can just uh, change the spacebar settings if I'd like let's just say numpad it doesn't find anything we need to select key binding and move to uh, 3d view this screen is the 3d view so 
Now let's move over there and see view axis, numpad 1. Numpad 1 is front view. We're going to change that to something else. Let me just type in view axis and then select name. That's a lot better. View axis, numpad 1. That's the front view. I'm going to select tweak middle mouse north and um, this arrow here I just click it and then you have more options here front view and uh, I include control so control middle click upwards oh dear I think uh, I did something wrong here it's zooming uh, let's just change that as well so let's see zoom and move to the 3D view here in this section. You see control middle mouse, zoom view. I just disable it. Let's take a look again. Control, middle click, drag upwards, and I have a front view. Now let's change the rest. View axis. Dump at three. That would be the right view. I just close this one. Uh, let's just say control middle mouse and then I'm going to tweak middle mouse right view that's uh, east. Next would be on pet 7 and as you can see control is selected. Next would be 7 top view uh, now I'm going to press Alt middle mouse and then tweak middle mouse north because I already have a control middle mouse for north for front view so I'm going to use Alt for top view. Now control numpad 1 is the opposite so this would be a back view numpad 1. I'm going to change that I'm just selecting this one, control middle mouse, tweak, middle mouse, south. So when I move over here, I can just hold control, middle click and drag downwards, I have a back view. Forwards, front view. Isn't it lovely? Next would be control numpad 3, well that would be the left side view. So I'll just click here, control middle mouse, tweak middle mouse west. That would be left side view, and this would be the bottom view. I click Alt middle mouse, and now I'm going to select tweak middle mouse south, and that's that. From now on, we can use the mouse for the view settings. I hold down control or alt and I can just uh, switch view. And it's very useful to have a uh, perspective on one side of the object when you're editing. So that's very important. And uh, on, on the bottom left you have this, this little button here and it auto saves preferences. I usually don't like that too much. I just turn it off and I can you can see an asterisk here so there has been changes made that has not been saved so I just click here save preferences. Now when you start up these, uh, these settings will remain. So that kind of uh, concludes this first video. Uh, you haven't done much yet but uh, well again don't get confused by all these bells and whistles around here you know just uh, if you'd like to do this fine or zoom or whatever but uh, yeah now you can just scroll shift middle click drag to move the view and I suggest you try it and then middle click and just middle click and drag for rotating the view and now you can just hold down control and drag, middle click and drag, left and right and alt for top 
and I suggest you try these things and then we can continue on with uh, the next video which probably will be about uh, transformations and uh, we start editing some things well thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy this uh, these videos so see you later <laughs>